Avalites has released Titan version 16 and this brings some powerful new features to the Avalites consoles. I've made a couple of videos, uh, this one's going to go into the layout views. But look at the other ones and make sure you really the release that's available from Avalites because some really cool stuff in there. Alright, let's get into it. So layout views are a customizable 2D fixture layout which gives you access to quick selection for programming and creating groups etc. There's two parts of layout views. Uh, the first one is this layouts here which gives you a selection of all the different layouts you can create. And then the second one is the actual layout view window. So that's this one here. So we'll make a quick, a quick workspace for this. All right, so right now you see there's nothing selected at the moment. We've got no layouts and no views here. We can just create a new one, but there's still nothing in there. We've selected. Uh, so I find the quickest way is just to bring in a whole group. So I'll open up a groups window. Grab all my pie cans here. And I can just record that straight into a layout now. And there are my pie cans. You notice this is a very similar layout to the arrangement of group layouts as well. And there's a good reason for that. And I'll get back to that a bit later. Just like groups, I can add more fixtures into this layout. Uh, so I'll want to add the stage watch in. So I'll grab those fixtures, record that on top of that layout, and merge them in like I would with a group. So I can see it's brought those fixtures in. I actually just want to keep this one as my pie cans for now. So I just want to delete these fixtures here. So I can just have to delete and grab those fixtures. Confirm. Everything I've done so far has been in unlocked mode, so I've been unlocked. That means I can edit this layout. As soon as you went to lock mode, you can't change and delete anything in here. So make sure I'm keeping it unlocked mode. I want to start arranging these. First, I'll just give this a bit of a name. A few ways you can rearrange these fixtures. First of all, you can just click and drag, but they need to be selected first. So you see right now, if I drag, nothing happens, but it selects the fixtures. So once to select, and then now I can just drag it to where I want it to be. You can also use the wheels down here. So make sure the fixture is selected and then just wind the wheel to where you want it to be. Our fixture selection works as normal. So I could even just do a fixture nine, enter and use the wheels now. So that's if you can't find the fixtures in here when you have a lot of fixtures, that makes it a bit easier. And I can grab 10 of them together and just wind those in together. And you can even use the fixture plus and minus buttons. So I'm to jump to plus one. The next fixture and next fixture. Move those up, so I'm using the whole area. And then you can actually crop this as well, so I don't need that full space. I'll just drag that in, and that's all I need. So that's my stage part layout now. And you can create as many layouts as you need. So I can even just copy. So I'll copy this layout to duplicate it. I'll go into the second one. I'm just going to get some sort of separate name. So Static fixtures, and I want to add some more fixtures to this. I want to bring those other lights back in. And there's some other ways you can bring fixtures in. So I could just record them over the top, but I know I need them down the front here. So I'll make my view a little bit bigger and I'll open up my fixtures. Those are my six fixtures here. And there's a couple of ways to bring them in and you can bring them directly where you want them on the grid. So I can do a, either copy or move. Copy this fixture right there. And grab a few of them at the same time. So I want all of these ones in there as well, and then just copy my last one over. Now we have a couple of layouts with some fixtures in there. Now it's time to start using them. So I've got two layouts. If I want to use them in program mode, it's best to switch this into locked mode so I don't accidentally make any changes. I have to have both, so they're all locked now. And I'll zoom to fit just to make it a bit bigger. And you can drag and select, or click to select, and this will actually take into account the selection order as well. And go to my static view, same thing, zoom to fit. I'll grab all my fixtures, bring up the demo. You can see it's representing the, the value here. So you can see it, this is mimicking the actual fixture output. So the intensity is just static. So you're not going to see much else from these, but I'll build a quick view. So I'll run through it again for some other fixtures. All my BMFL fixtures and same thing. Once they're selected, I just click to create a new group right there, a new layout right there. Now these aren't arranged. I do have some arrangements. So I want to arrange these to match kind of how they are on stage. I've got some groups here, so I can use this to quickly rearrange them. So I've cleared out my selection. I want to grab all my front fixtures. And there they are. So unfortunately I haven't brought them in in the right order. So I'll just quickly lay these out. Clear that selection, my mid range. So I'll bring in those fixtures now. Rear. These are actually staggered, so I'll stagger those. 
same thing. I just grab and move everything to kind of shrink it up till it fits how I want, and then move the grid to match. See that? If I lock this now, the bell layout zoom to fit. I can select all these fixtures and locate them. So now they're on. There's a bit more information in here. So if I start to mix some colors in, so the colors represented, but also I can see my gobos in here as well. Gives you a quick idea of what you, what the fixtures are actually doing. Uh, you do have some options to change this. So so back in edit mode, if I grab some of the fixtures, so maybe I don't want these for wants to tell me all this information. If I go to options and select those fixtures, I can now change some of these options here. So I can turn off the arrow, use a number, uh, the mimic, which will, so I won't see the color or the gobo, and the dimmer level, which will turn off the, the dimmer heart value down the bottom there. I'll leave all these on for now, but this gives you some options to create a couple more layouts and different ways of visualizing your fixtures. As I mentioned, these are very similar to the group layouts, and that means they are quite tightly integrated as well. So I've got a couple of Nexus layouts here, and I'll show you these now. If we go to the look at the group view of these, I actually built these as a layout. So I've got two groups, each with different different sizes. Uh, so if I grab these Nexus now and create a couple of layouts directly from them. So the layout view has already matched those two different layouts. I've got one with a kind of an active gap and one with them tighter together. Uh, so this means I've got quick access to these layout views straight from the groups. So I've built the group and I can bring it straight in. I haven't had to rebuild this again. And now that it's in there, I can do some quick selections. Uh, but this works the other way as well. So the lead beam 100s here. And if you look at capture, they're just kind of in a grid layout on the stage. The 10 by four grid, I need to build a layout for those. So I'll grab that group first. I'll just record a new layout. See, they're not actually, that group doesn't have them in a proper 2D layout yet. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly do it here. And so under the options in the layout, if I select arrange elements, I wanna arrange them in a shape and then over in the options over here, I know they're 10 wide. So if I change that, it's changed the height for me to four. If I, it's in a rectangle shape, okay. And there's my lead beam layout. I do want to space this out a bit more, so I've got a bit of a, a gap in between them to kind of match the stage. So I can just drag all those down until I'm happy with it. And now that I've got that in a, a layout, I'll turn that off. I can actually save this now to a group. So if I clear out, I'll grab this layout and select all the fixtures in there. If I now record this as a group, so lead beam layout, if I check this group now, so I'll go into the group and edit the layout, this has copied that exact layout from my layout view. So groups and layouts have that similar layout function and you can copy, use them between, so you don't have to rebuild those things. All right, the next features I wanna look at are my blinders. So they're outside the front of the stage. So this would be a bit harder to lay out from the grid if I locate those in an arch around the whole stage there. So I can't really take that from a, a shape layout, but I still wanna have them laid out properly. So I'll create that. So all my blinders, I'll save that as a new layout. This time I'm gonna try and pull that arrangement from Capture. So same thing, arrange elements from Capture. You wanna project from the front, so looking directly at them. And you may need to play with the scale here. So we wanna go over all elements. Uh, and rather than apply, we'll hit apply and just see what happens. Take that down to 150, that's a bit better. They're not quite right, but it's pretty close. So I'll hit apply and exit. They're all in there, but they're not hitting the grid as much as I'd like them to. So I'll just hit open up and snap to grid. And they're still not quite right. So it takes a little bit of manual tweaking, but at least they're laid out pretty close to how they are. So I just need to kind of tweak the last little bit. Pop that view right down. Again, my blinders group didn't have those laid out. So I'm gonna go back into lock mode, select all my fixtures, and I'll even just record that straight over the top. So replace that group. And now if I have a look inside that group, 
this layout of those fixtures is the same for me. So I can keep going backwards and forwards like that. Okay, for the last thing I want to create like a proper overall ring view. So I've got uh, a group here with all my fixtures visible from the top. So I'll grab that and just create a new layout within that. So all top. And I want to capture this uh, from my capture layout. I want to, so I'll grab arrange elements from capture. Uh, projection, make sure that's set to top view now. I'm going to try 200% scale. That looks pretty close and nicely laid out. So I'm going to go with that. And I can actually add a rig image in here. So under the options, so there's got a few more options down here. So background image, tap to select, and I've got a grid view in here. See, so it's quite small, but we've got some scaling options. So letterbox, fill, stretch, and none. I find fill kind of works the best because it can still scale around, but it's filling up as much of that image as possible. Uh, and you can change the opacity, so you can bring that right down to nothing. I'll set it to about 50%. And you can turn the grid off as well, so you don't need to see that. I'll leave the grid on for the moment. If I close that. And now I can scale the whole grid to kind of move those fixtures around to see where I want them. So to try and line up as much as I can before I start moving the fixtures manually. In that grid together just to center a bit more as close as possible to my image. And now I've got them kind of closed on, I can just go in and tidy them up like I have before with moving fixtures around. So I was moving everything until it kind of sits exactly where I want it on that grid image. So let's go through. All right, so now I've got those pictures kind of pretty much lined up with my grid. I want to get rid of all these other images in the background. What I've actually done is I've exported this rig view from Capture the software uh, as paperwork. And because you can kind of set things and fills, I've actually done another version. So if I go into my options, I've exported another image without the fixtures. So if I bring that in, you can see I've actually got just the truss. So I don't have to have the view of the actual fixtures on there as well. Still got some view options. So I'll go back and just edit. I'll turn off the grids because I don't have to have that scene over the top and I'll set the opacity maybe down a bit more so I can see clearly my fixtures are standing out over the top there. To fit, I've got a nice rig view. I can grab my fixtures in there, locate them, and work with them directly from the programmer there. Another interesting thing is that because the actual fixtures will record the groups from these layout views, you can create lots of different layouts from these layout views. Rather than having to create custom group layouts individually, you just keep saving multiple different ones. So for example, I can call that as a new group. And look at that layout. So you can quickly record heaps of those. A lot quicker to save those groups like that than would be to actually build it as layouts on custom groups. That's a quick overview of the uh, new Titan 16 layout views. Just to recap, first of all, you need to open up the layout view window that gives you the selection and the layout view viewer. Uh, those two windows are these two, layouts and layouts view. The layout objects kind of work like groups, so you can record them like groups. You can add new features into them like groups by doing a record merge. Uh, you can also edit directly. So unlock this if I want to add more fixtures in just with copy or move to grab those fixtures and put them in there. Deleting works in a similar way. Delete this fixture, confirm. Uh, the layout views themselves have lots of options. So bringing up this one under the options, you can change a background image, the scanning of the image and the background image opacity, show and hide the background grid. And arranging elements can be done from that same drop-down menu, arrange elements. You can arrange them in a shape like a grid or a circle or arrange from a capture view. So you can take a front view or top view to quickly arrange elements based on your capture files. The, the 2D layout view is the same that's used in the group layouts. And so you can kind of chop and change between those, which makes programming very quick to kind of have lots of different ways of setting up those layouts. You can quickly create group layout views from one master layout view. That's uh, layout views in Titan 16, available now on the website. Download it, check it out, and read the notes to find out what else is in there.